Let's see how our eyes work. Let's explore that. I am going to consider the camera to see how my eyes work because I know that they both work similarly. If I tell you to take a picture with this camera, what do you do? You will open the lid first. Am I right? Yes, that's what we do. We'll open the eyelid. Right. And then we have to set the aperture in the camera. What is setting the aperture? It is nothing but allowing the light inside the camera. That's what we do with our eyes as well. What is done there? It is nothing but the setting of the size of the pupil. Our iris will make pupil very smaller when we are in the bright light. It will make the pupil size bigger when we are in the darkness. That's how it allows light inside it. The third step is to focus. Okay, how is focusing done in our eyes? It is with the ciliary muscles that we have. The ciliary muscles will be relaxed when we are looking far away and it will pull with the help of suspensory ligaments. The lens will be pulled by the ciliary muscles when we are looking at the nearer objects. When I am talking about the far object and the near object, I remember one thing that is nothing but the power of accommodation. This power of accommodation is about the far point and the near point. When I am talking about the power of accommodation, I have to tell you about two points that is nothing but the far point and the near point. What is the far point? Let us look. I can look till the horizon. There are trees there. They are not blurred to me. So the far point of my eyes is considered as infinity. So as every human's eye. Every normal adult human will be having far point which is at infinity. What is the near point? I want all of you to take a book. Take it very close to you. Okay, until a point you can see the clear words and then it will be blurred, right? Yes, that's what happens. At a point where you can see the clear image is called as the near point. For a normal human eye, the near point is 25 centimeters. So, the power of accommodation of a human eye is from 25 cm which is the near point and to the infinity which is the far point. Now let's see how our eyes focus. As I told you, I can see the far tree over there. It is at infinity, it is too far from me. So I'm not bothering about measuring the distance. So I'm telling it is at infinity. Now the ciliary muscles of my eyes is completely relaxed. And the focal length of the lens is decreased. So what happens is the light enters my eyes, gets refracted and then it will form the image with the lens I have and the image will be formed on retina. What happens if my eye lens is not flexible enough to change its shape? Let's see what happens. Let me consider a page here, very near to me. Okay. I'm looking at the page. I can't see anything clearly. Why it is done? Let's consider the eyes here. The lens is very stable. It is not changing its shape now. Now, the image formation is behind my retina. It is not on the retina. That's what happens here. So, it is needed to my lens to change its focal length. Thereby, it makes the image formation 
on the retina so my eye lens will change its shape it changes the focal length and increases the converging power so i can get the image on the retina in the next class we'll see what happens if there is a loss of power of accommodation